In the previous video, we decided to see if we can find some good keywords related to watches. Let's do the three initial niche tests and see if this is a viable niche before we go any further. Let's see whether there are any watches selling for at least $50 on Amazon with at least 50 4 or 5 star reviews. I am now on Amazon and these are the watches listed here. Let me sort on average customer review. This one meets our criteria and so does this one. This one meets our criteria. As you can see, there are several products on this page that meet our criteria. We are looking for watches that sell for at least $50 and have at least 50 4 or 5 star reviews. And there are several products on this page that meet our criteria. So, our first rule is satisfied. Does the niche satisfy the second rule as well? I would enjoy building a site related to watches. I enjoy learning how things work and there's a lot I do not know about watches, which means the second rule is satisfied. What about the third rule? Would it be possible to build a 50 to 100 page affiliate site related to watches? I sure think it would be possible. Let's see how many watches are currently listed on Amazon.com. Let me sort this on relevance. There are more than a million models listed here. I would say that's a pretty good sign. If you think it's kind of ridiculous to be looking at the number of watches being sold on Amazon, well, I'm just trying to be thorough. I'm following a process that can be applied to just about any niche. So, I need to do these kind of checks. Only if all of the initial tests are passed, can we go ahead and do keyword research. Let's now try to get an estimate of how many buyer keywords we can potentially target in this niche. SEMrush lists more than 5000 keywords related to watches that start with best. That's quite a lot, far more than we can handle. So based on these results, we can conclude the niche passes all of the three initial tests. 